Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Coral Island. It's day 12, as we can see there. It's, uh, I take that to mean it's a blustery day, but not a rainy one. I, don't, I looked at the weather last night, it's supposed to be sunny. Um, yeah, we'll make some plans for the day. I don't know really. I think probably go up to the mines again. I would like to start working towards uh, more advanced tools, I think. Um, got our turnip. Now I think I've already got a turnip in my uh, bundles box up here. Uh, I do, so... I need a daisy and a carrot in there. The carrots are taking ages. I hope they'd be ready fairly soon. They're supposed to take seven days, but I feel like it's... Well, I mean, maybe. Maybe not. Um, one thing to point out is uh, I've slowed down the time taken on the days now. Uh, as you can see, it's probably progressing a little bit slower than pr previously. Um, just, to, just to get a little more done, really, and not constantly be worried about, you know, only spending so long in the mines, for example, before we pass out. I mean, a lot will be dictated anyway by just running out of energy. I do have a certain amount of things down here that can bump that up, but... Um, yeah. We'll, uh... See yeah, how we get on. Ah, no water. There we go. I'd like to know if this becomes anything. I, I'm guessing it does. I can examine it now. Oh, not really. Water it. <laughs> I mean, maybe, uh, maybe it's something we can unlock, or maybe, maybe it's nothing. I don't know. I had to guess. I would say we've maybe got a basement or something below ground. Maybe we can get some. Uh, some processing equipment in there or something. To turn our food, our vegetables and fruits into something more valuable to sell. Seems to be the way these games do it. Uh, sell a turnip. So I'm not going to go back to the uh, blacksmith yet, so we'll just stick that stuff in there. Uh, we've got to remember to take all these coffers when we do go, though. Um... Yeah, I think I think perhaps we go off now. I nearly forgot. Take all our sword and stuff, so No, need the pickaxe. I haven't needed an axe yet. Um so that's probably it. As far as that's concerned. And we'll see what we can gather. We can cut through here. Maybe we can do anything with these animals. Oh, it's, um, are they alpacas or llamas? I don't know the difference, if I'm honest. I think someone told me the difference once. I can't remember. Oh, that's... Uh, is that just a cat? Might just be a cat. I think it is. I didn't bring my hoe with me, so I'm not able to dig up the little bits that are growing out there. Oh, your, it's your home. So we do have a mission to uh, kill 30 monsters, which we'll try to do. I didn't bring my bug net. But we'll keep trying to push down into this earth part of the mine. Take some morals as well. I think we, I think this stuff we can eat to get a bit of energy from. So we'll do that. Level ten. Well, oh. Interesting. So it's still... Oh, no, this is... Uh, yeah, I think they provided the exit for this one. I didn't have to find it. I was just thinking, you know, all the previous levels we've explored, does it, does it uh, persist? But no, it doesn't. it doesn't. Still only 20 past 8, so I'm hoping to make decent progress today in the mine. Hoping to get quite a lot of bronze uh, ore, but... Have to see. We 
we're going to take the monsters as we see them because, uh, as I said, we have got the uh, quest to do that. The best idea, well, the ones we've encountered so far, is just kind of go in and burst them down really quickly before they kind of know what's going on. It feels a bit mean. It feels a bit like bullying, but I think it's the best way. No bronze yet. There's quite a few monsters in here. And a little bit of bronze. Hopefully the exit's here as well. Well, I don't think I've got like a dodge key or anything. Didn't take any damage yet. Stuff. Oh yeah, I can definitely feel that it's a lot quicker swinging that pickaxe now. In fact, I'm probably going to lose energy because I'm not releasing the the key in time. Hmm. Hoping the exit is in here. I wouldn't be surprised if there's more than one her level, just to increase your chances of finding one. Oh, there we go. Let's jump down. Yeah, we've got different coloured slimes now. I can already see some bronze ore as well, which should be good. You kind of want to find the big veins of it though. That's where you get, that's the, that's the mother load. Uh, but I'll take it. Oh. Might even hit it, I'm lucky. Got a decent amount, actually. Some, I think, I don't know if it's, I mean, it is random how many ores the deposits drop, but I've, I've, I've seen it one, two, and three now. So, got a couple of threes there, which is lucky. I think when we get to uh, 15, we've got 8 at the moment, we're at 15 bronze ore, we'll definitely be able to get another, well, we'll be able to get a tool in top grade. Need a bit more money though, but I should have quite a lot of crops coming quite soon. Still no exit, running out of uh, stamina as well. Of these because I'm going to be here a while. Let's try up here. this time, isn't it? I lose all my stamina again. I'll try these ones. Wow. Okay. I'm going to have to mine every bit of rock in this level to find the exit. Pretty much. Pretty much. Well, we're going to eat another couple of these, I think. I might even just eat all of them. Well, I might save one in case I need a bit of a cheeky heal at some point. Um, otherwise, let's go. Okay, we've got more beasts. Wow, I don't know if we crit that or something, but he went down really quickly. Uh, well, let's just run through here as there's no obvious ore deposits. Ah, we've got ore here. Get on that. Ooh. 
Nice. So we've definitely got enough to get the bars we need to upgrade. Probably our pickaxe, I think, was the way I was leaning before when I was thinking about it. I think that's the best choice. So it just means you can mine the ores the quicker, which means you can then upgrade tools easier. Tools easier. So I think it's I think it's a good one. <sighs> I guess we'll work our way through the stones now, hoping to find our way through. straight down. Do, do, do. Oh, there's definitely ores down there and a monster. Okay. Let me get away from him. Don't have a dodge key, I don't think. We're on level 14, so that's good actually. So we've got one more of well, this one to do, and then when we go down again, uh, we'll get another sort of lift milestone. Should be good. Stamina's going. Okay, these morals, they don't give as much. So let's drink the, eat the candy tree seed first. We only really need to get to the next level, so... Let's hope we can find that exit reasonably soon. There we go. Now what do we get here? Oh, we've got some monsters. Got quite a lot of ore as well. Yep, looks like that's about it. There's a few monsters here, so... Ah. Right, let's eat one of these morals then. Going to bed at about 3 p.m. at this rate. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to switch to sword. Sword doesn't seem to use stamina to swing, which is nice. I don't. I haven't seen any of those sort of quite uh, extensive uh, kind of uh, subterranean. Well, you know, underground deposits. Um, so yeah, so I think we'll just exit. 33 ore. That's uh, that's pretty good. Hello. So that's what, six, uh, six bars, plus I might have some ores left in my chest. It won't, probably won't be very many, it might be two or three. Uh, but if it's a couple, that will give us uh, seven uh, bars then, which would be good. Deposit some stuff. So we've got uh, one of those, five of these. I only need one moral. Oh no, there was something else. There was one of those. Okay, yeah. Well, I've got actually. I should have the coal here. I can make five. Maybe you can only stock up five at a time. But have I got others in here? Yeah. So if I take those, that's enough for a couple more. I'll put one of those in. Drop those off. I'll probably plant those and sell those. Yep, 
Even though I discovered last time round that I don't have to, I can just navigate my toolbars like that. Um, but I need, I need my watering can for a start. sword in there. Well, I am going to rearrange this now, so I'll have the watering can there, pick there, axe, scythe, shit, I keep that there. Looking at, there we go. And I'm going to sell a couple of bits. Great money, but I think with these carrots harvest, and I'm hoping that's not too far off. We should get a decent amount of money coming in then. Enough to upgrade a tool, hopefully. How are we doing here? We've still got... Okay. <laughs> still working with us. It's going to take a little while, though, I think. I don't really have any stamina to, uh, to do very much in the meantime. What, what quests have I got currently? That's a bit of a long-term one. Uh, I'm going to unpin that if I can. So that's again a bit of a longer term one. The extractor. I need scrap for that. Let's, let's undo that for now. I might pin that because we're not too far off that one. Maybe. Well, I kind of know the other ones. But I haven't really got anything I need to sort of head into town to do right now. I mean, I suppose I could take the uh, the coffers and stuff, couldn't I? Might get some more stuff for the museum that way. Should remember to use this fertilizer. I keep forgetting. So, did it say that one of the things I can make can turn stuff into scrap? Oh no, it turns scrap into glass. Yeah, we need a bit more of that. Okay. I can start making, uh, making paths a bit, I suppose. Make some stone paths around things. What I might do is start in the south. And kind of just, um, you know, make this, make, make this path in stone. The question is whether wood or stone is going to be more plentiful, I think. I don't know. We've got more stone at the moment. I suppose because you get stone in the mines, that's probably going to make it more plentiful. Oh, man. Well, let's start with that. And let's see. So we probably want it like too wide here. Let's just start at this end. boring and straight for a while, but... Uh, yeah, why don't we put a little kink in it now? Can I actually just mine that out? I can. I must pass out from the effort. <laughs> I guess I could go into town and like buy like a coffee or something if I needed it. But... Let's keep this going for now. I think this is going to come in quite nicely in line with the flower beds I've put down already. Or plant beds, I should say. Tell you what, I didn't... Didn't eyeball that too badly on the number of slabs I'd need. Uh, but we do need one more. There we go. So watering the plants wears us out, but laying down an entire cobblestone path across our farm uh, apparently is fine. Uh, well, I've got some more this uh, this end, so... Um, might chop that. Let's put some more down. Oh, 
Oh, I'm so close to passing out. Like one, one, one more. There we go. So that kind of directs us through the farm a little bit. Wonder how the furnace is getting on. Oh, it's got a couple left. We might be. Able, I might be able to stick these in now. It's, it's got us some space. There we go. <clears throat> so when that's finished, that'll be all our bronze, and I'll have I'll have seven bars. So definitely enough for one tool. I can probably just uh, pop those in there. Now. I've actually got two. Of okay, so with another three ore, I then have enough bronze bars to make two tools, which isn't too bad. I was thinking about going to town to the blacksmith, but actually it's quite late for, for shops opening. Let's go to the bar. Maybe we can get a coffee at the bar or something. That'll perk us up a bit for some, I don't know, maybe some night fishing or bug hunting or something. Even with the slower days, I don't see me getting to the blacksmith before he's closed, which is now. Yeah, Sam's is closed now. Nothing on the board. Um, have we met this dog? Well, there's Taco. Oh, he's, he's worn himself out, look. Been a hard day of jumping in fountains, probably. So let's go to fish and sips. Yeah, outrageously priced fish and sips. Uh, yeah, coffee. Uh, so that, well, it, phew, tell you what, it hurt. I don't like the harmfulness of it. <laughs> Losing 40 health. I mean, we have a lot of health anyway. There's not that much of a concern, I suppose. It is a it's just slightly more than half the price of a beer. But something like the food, like this uh, like 275 is quite nice. Because the coffee only does 50 and that's 165. Whereas this is twice that, but does loads more energy. Now the basil pesto pasta is actually really good, you know, compared to the other stuff. For the energy it gives you. All right, uh, I might grab a couple of those. I know it's a lot of money, but I think we'll, we'll wait for the carrots to be harvested. I'm hoping that'll give us enough money to, to do stuff. Um, so I might just grab a coffee for now. My reasoning is that I'll probably save for like a mining day or something like that, whereas the coffee I'll just have now so I don't pass out on the way home. Ugh. You know, if every time I drank a coffee it knocked off 10% of my health, I'd be dead in a day. <laughs> Certainly within two days. Um, is this... I don't remember this. It's not Eleanor, is it? Eva. How's your first spring on Coral Island so far? Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Have we got any people in here that we don't know yet? There's someone outside we could go meet. It's not Betty. I'm sure we know Betty. Yeah, we do. Someone down here. Alia. Oh, hello. I don't think we've met. Oh, well, now we have Alia. Uh, yeah, I thought I might go do a spot of fishing. What's the best way to the beach from here? Just up here and straight down. I've got 56. I'm interested to see if I can even catch a fish, and if so, how much stamina that uses. Might be some stuff to scavenge. Oh, that's trash. I say there might be some shells and stuff to scavenge, possibly. Eh, can't really see any. Let's walk out to the sea as far as we can. So I've, I've been, I think I've been to this island, but I think that might be a 
Is that a scallop shell? No, it's a cockle. Yeah, so if I come out to, like, say, here, hopefully that's a decent fishing spot. So we're on 56. We'll see, we'll see what stamina we're on after this. Oh, wow. That went up quick. I wasn't quite prepared for that. I was, I was looking at this wondering what this is. Um, I think it might be a speed boost from the coffee. I think it might boost our walking speed. I spent all my money, which is a bit dumb, actually, but... Tough one, this one. Oof. Okay. Come on, keep going, keep going. He's a fighter. There we go. We got an octopus. Wow. 90 centimeter octopus. And that used what, about 20 energy. Let's do one more. And then we'll head home. I'm tempted to take the octopus to the museum, although I need the money. I, might, I think I'll sell it. We got a ruby red dragonette, a small feisty fish. Cool, okay, well I think we've exhausted the possibilities of our energy levels this time. Who are you? Why are you? Oh no, hang on. <laughs> and why are you in the water? Oh, that's a, hmm. I don't, I don't trust myself to be able to catch a cricket without passing out. Uh, so we'll leave that for now. This is butter. I've met butter, haven't I? What about this? Is this peanut? Yeah, okay. Well, I've met those two. Yeah, so I think we'll stick those fish we caught into the shipping bin here. What is the cockle? Hopefully we'll make a bit of money off that. Still got... Still got one of these to go. So I guess we'll just wait till morning. A quick look at the telly, see what the weather's doing tomorrow. I wouldn't mind a rainy day. Gonna be sunny! Okay. Alright, what spoils the land? What's he doing this time? Uh, oh, it's Jenna. Okay. Back to nature with Jenna. You can find sexy shrimp. Oh my gosh, what even is a sexy shrimp? This is too much, haha. -ha. Anyway, you can find sexy shrimp in the daytime. The ocean critter is out in spring, summer, fall and winter. So like all year long. Hang on, did I ever tell you that you can catch critters with a bug net when you're diving? You did not tell me that. Because you totally can. Just go diving and find out. It shouldn't be that hard. Awesome. I, I, I did not know that. So that's good knowledge. Game of cones. Game of cones. Hello viewers, welcome to Game of Cones, a fight for the right to be the king of cuisine. As always, our judge is the meanie with a heart of gold, Chef Gordy Ramesses. <laughs> okay. Must be the Egyptian cousin, cousin of Gordon Ramsay. Uh, today we have two contestants trying to win the heart and stomach of our stony chef here. I wonder why it's always the um, weather presenter who's in, in the corner of all these other programs. Gordy, tell our chefs here today here what today's theme is. 
Um, can I do a Gordon Ramsay impression? Today's... No, I can't. <laughs> Today's theme is simple and something every good chef should know how to do. Soup. Any soup will do. Chefs, go cook. And they're off. Let's check up on our first chef, Chef Rob. Tell us, chef, what are you making today? I'm keeping it simple. Growing up, one of my favourite meals is a good hearty tomato soup with grilled cheese sandwiches. That's what I'm going to make today. Hmm, sounds delicious. Let's go to our other contestant, Chef Macy. Chef, what will you be serving our grumpy chef? I live by the ocean and it irks me that people throw away perfectly good fish heads. I want to show everyone how easy it is to cook delicious fish head soup. Oh, I don't think I've ever had that before. Let's ask our Shirley chef what he thinks. Did I say Shirley chef? Surly chef, what he thinks. Gordy, what makes a good soup? Oh, it could be a full hearty meal or a side dish that perfectly complements the main. But here I'm looking for a soup that can stand on its own. Filling, warm and hearty. And it looks like our chefs are done. Let's take a look at our first dish. What do you think, Gordy? Oh, very nice. I like the little bit of kick the ginger gives and the heads perfectly thick in the soup. Well done. Ooh, let's move on to the second dish. How about this one, Gordy? Oh, I love good tomato soup. This is certainly an upgrade from the classic, but I don't know if it has enough of the wow factor. Delicious nonetheless. Both chefs, del chefs deliver great dishes, but I think Chef Rob's won today's challenge. Really? Because from the comments, it sounded like the other one had won. With oh, All right. Simple, consistent, and reminds me of the days my mother would take care of me when I was sick. Congratulations, Chef Rob. Not only have you melted Grinch's heart, but you also win a lifetime supply of tomatoes in the cast iron throne. I will thank you. Oh, that throne doesn't look very comfortable, isn't it? Oh, it isn't, Rob. Mm. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next episode. Okay. I have to work on my Gordon Ramsay impression. I've watched a lot of Gordon Ramsay, but I just uh, I can't in my head picture how I'd do the voice. All right, what have we got? Mining level two. Skill point. So I think, actually, that's not the first skill point I've got. So I might have to look in my thing and see if I can spend those. We can craft a rope and a stone sign. Not sure what I need the rope for, but I'll find out. Combat we've leveled up. Good. So we, again, we've got max three stamina up. A ball of goop and a slime trap. Don't know quite why we'd need certainly the ball of goop. But a uh, little bit of money in. Nothing amazing, but a little bit. All right, so let's have a quick look. Well, let's have a quick look in here and uh, where's my skills? Masteries, here we go. Yeah, okay, so I could increase sprinting speed. I didn't even know I could sprint. I've been pressing shift sometimes. It doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> maybe it must be another key. Uh, or maybe it's, maybe that's just our movement speed, which would be quite nice. Uh, chance to forage better quality items, 10%. Uh, chance to forage double items, 5% chance. Mm. Well, I think I'll take the sprint speed. And I'll do a quick search to see if there's actually a key I need to press for that. Mining. Chance to mine double ores. That's pretty good, 20% chance. Chance to break surrounding rocks when mining, 10% chance. Well, you're not always doing surrounding rocks, and it's quite a low chance. Or increases 100% chance to find geodes. Well, I'm going to take the mine double ores, I think. It's, you know, one in five chance of uh, doubling the amount of ore we get, which I think is probably worth it. Okay. Uh, so let me uh, look at these settings. Uh, where's the... Dash is... Spe oh! Oh, no, sprint is shift. Okay. I, I had tried doing that, but it didn't seem to do anything. Let's try out here. Oh, I, th I think it's a toggle. I think this is our sprinting speed. That's just walking speed. That's sprint. There doesn't seem to be any downside to sprinting everywhere because it, it doesn't take our energy down. Okay, the things we learn. Um, all the carrots. The carrots are not quite ready. <laughs> I saw that and got excited. Oh, no, I'm fishing. Don't want to do that. Saw that and got excited thinking the carrots are ready. I think tomorrow will be the day. Tomorrow's, tomorrow's carrot day. Which means it's going to be a little while until I'm upgrading a tool still. And the question becomes what we do. Well, I think I might be done with the mines at least for the time being because I've basically got enough. To, I've got enough to do a tool. It'll be a while before I've got enough money to do a tool after that. Last one? I think that's the last one. 
So we could uh, we could go diving again, do a bit more underwater. That's probably quite a good idea. Do a bit on the farm, but to be honest, I've got a clear, fairly wide area now. Certainly enough for sort of my current budget anyway, in terms of buying new seeds and stuff. So yeah, that's probably okay. Yeah, I think maybe maybe we'll go dive. Uh, this way. Mm. Yeah, I guess well, I guess we'll keep our blacksmith stuff for now. There. feel a bit faster, I think, actually. It's subtle, but... I mean, it's only 15%, but it, I think it has made a difference. I don't think I'd have left that trash there, so I think that's, uh, I think that's appeared since the last time. Keep her eye out for sea critters for a net. Ooh, got some uh, bronze kelp. The ocean's also quite a good source of scrap, so I think we should be able to get what we need to do the. Um, the processing thing. I can't quite remember what it was called, is it? It's, it's the one that sort of gets the uh, kelp essence out anyway. Let's go down here today. I've had this music down here. It's quite soothing, really. That's some scrap, yeah. So I need... Oh, hello. I might ditch the fibre. We can find six scrap here. That's what I need. Oh, hello, hello. Uh, this one. Yay! We, oh, I've got a full inventory. Hang on. Sea slug, but I, I need to get in my inventory. Uh, let's dump the wood. Oh, did I get it? Did I get it? Uh, I did get it! Sea slug! Hey! Uh, you know, next time I come down here, I'll have to remember to uh, clear out my inventory a bit more. No sign of the old um, glowy light thing that we're looking for. Okay, it's time to get a bit low on stamina. Why don't we treat ourselves to a bit of uh, basil pesto? There you go, lovely jubbly. Uh, I think we'll go up here. I think this is going to join up with the area I was clearing previously. Hopefully finding the, the lamp somewhere quite near here. There we go. Let's 
looking all pretty good. Nice and clean again. Uh, we can move the anchor. Here we go. So we'll, we'll carry on in this area for now. How much scrap did I get? I've only got one. That's quite disappointing. Glass. Oh, we've got one scrap then. I want the glass. Do you know what? Maybe I'll eat the oyster. And then I'll make room for the glass. Another one. Hello. Right, let's see where this thing's got off to. Yeah, that should be able to come up. There it is. leave this for another day. Haven't done too bad. We've uncovered a couple of things. We've filled our inventory. And it's still only 11 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, well, we've got a little bit of stamina left. Not a huge amount, but we got some. I mean, I could go up to the blacksmith and open these coffers up. Then we could take the stuff to the museum that we find. Maybe we'll do that. to get to him. Right, that's back to the farm. Okay. That is the museum. I think he's just up here. Maybe we go this way and then up. I'm kind of guessing a little bit. No, wrong way. Other way. <laughs> Too far. Yeah, he's here. Let's do these. Right. Uh, oh, inventory could be a problem, couldn't it? Um. Huh. Damn it. Yeah, he's not gonna let me do any, is he? We've got loads of time in the day still, so I might go back to the farm, deposit some stuff, and then we'll come back. Pleasant, isn't it? <laughs> it's nothing. There's nothing on. Well, apart from the pollution and the threat of the town being taken over by corporate meanies, there's, there's nothing really sort of bad, is there, to worry about? It's just very pleasant. 
Right, so let's dump some stuff. I'm gonna keep that in stock for now. We still needs four of those. Sell the clams. We sell the seaweed as well. Okay. All right, let's go back. I wonder what skill the under the sea stuff buffs up. If it's foraging or something, I don't know. some good stuff in these coffers, especially the ornate ones and the mystery one. I expect it probably is stuff for the museum, but, you know, it could be good stuff. Do the ordinary ones first. We got bronze kelp. Okay, it's not bad. Got some trash. Great. Mystery coffer. Beach snow globe. Okay. Ornate coffer. Carved ring holder. Silver kelp. Resource. Okay, that's good. And a silver sandal artifact. That's fine. All right, let's go to the museum. I think we started on 450 stamina, so we're up to 468 already, which is kind of nice. I'm also going to go into the community centre and check our uh, merit badge progress. That might be something, maybe with some of the sea clearance, that might have had an effect. I don't know. Donate you, 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 and you. Okay. So we can probably see some of these things now, just sort of bobbing around. Um, there's one of the fish we caught. There's a little sea slug. Oh, this is just the back office, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, I mean he's right. It's not it's not the biggest museum at the moment, is it? <laughs> I'll right, we'll pop in the community centre as well. else is there to do in here? Um, oh, this is yoga? No, I don't know. Oh, no, it's just advertising the yoga, isn't it? I don't know what's here. This is a mobility centre. Okay. Very nice. Over here we've got a library. Okay, that's cool. There's not much here at the moment. Maybe we have to find the books. Really? Are you looking for a specific book? Well, any any book, really. Who are you? Or oh, Valentina again? My nose is itchy. Scratch it, then. Oh, is this the animal centre? I think it might be. Look at these boys and girls. Spikadoo's busy. Is is busy sleeping. Can I adopt a pet? Oh, everything's out of stock. Oh, Malcolm. Uh, can I adopt a pet? This is Frankie. Requires a pet house or pet bed. I mean, that makes sense, but I couldn't buy any right now. Spike bonkers. I got a dachshund. I've got a dachshund. If there's a dachshund here, that, that's definitely what I'm getting. Can't see a dex and lots of cats. Oh, I call it Bode. Is that a... Luna? This would be the one my children would choose for me, Luna. They're obsessed with the name Luna, and it being like a fox, uh, a big desert eared fox sort of thing, they'd, they'd, they'd be all over that. Uh, and I can't buy. I'm assuming this will be introduced at some point then. 
It's just uh, the game has the game's not ready for me to have a pet just yet. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, I've still only got. Okay, it's just a shop, so it doesn't. Actually, I think it tells you at the end of the day, doesn't it, if you've earned merit badges? So, okay, that's probably a, that then. Try and catch some bugs for the uh, community center, maybe. I'd like to level that up so I know, you know, if we're working towards actually doing something worthwhile in terms of catching the butterflies and stuff. There was one there and it, ran, it saw me and ran away. I don't always see them in time. Imagining I can't afford anything here. Got like a nice tux. <laughs> Only 10,000 coins. Um, maybe a nice wedding dress, huh? Or an evening gown. Or a chicken suit. For 25,000. That's kind of cool. But I've got better things to spend my money on. Lost, just wandering, trying to find my way into like a public area again. What? Oh, that's the boat. Don't know whose boat that is. I wanted to sort of end up round by the lake, but I've got a bit lost. This fish and sip, so it is. Oh, there might be an errand we could do. Is it the colour? Oh, one daisy. In four days, we'll accept that because daisies only take four days to grow and I've got some on, on the go so we'll take that calendar wise we missed a couple of birthdays but honestly pff, I'm probably not going to worry too much about the birthdays this year I can't just want to concentrate on getting the farm up and running still doesn't really feel like it's a going concern yet all we're getting there is compost I think we'll head into kind of the lake area and see if there's any bugs. Oh, there's a caterpillar there. Grab that. Pine Sphinx. I, I can't well, I can't remember which ones I've sold and which ones I've uh, collected for the museum, but before we head back, we'll we'll drop stuff off and find out. Zero chance of this butterfly, but we'll, hope springs eternal. No. <laughs> Pretty much restricted to snails and caterpillars at the moment, I think. Oh, that's the... Uh, is that just the um, festival area? Probably is. There's someone over there we've not met yet. Let's go up there and say hello. I said hello. And you are Dipper. Huh? Boring Dad? I'm Dipper. Right, we might be able to catch a fly. Yeah. What's that? Hmm, don't know. Just our footsteps, I think. Okay, we've got quite a big blockage here. Don't know where that goes. Don't know. I presume it'll uh, open up at some point. Oh, there's another fly. I'll grab that. We can always sell the, the spare. The spare fly. Oh, I can't. Ah, I couldn't really get in there. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, this is a whole area, but currently, currently fenced off. This is the school, isn't it? Now in, we're at the hot spring. Now in uh, Stardew, you could go in the hot spring and it would, uh, over time, you know, uh, charge up your uh, stamina again. I wonder if the same's true here. This is the observatory. <laughs> this, this isn't the hot spring. What does it say? Where's the hot spring? Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's around this way. I got confused because I knew he works there and he was up by the observatory as well. Temporarily out of service. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so not not currently available by the look of it. But I think that's probably the function it will serve um, in time. Looking forward to this stuff sort of getting opened up a little bit. But it's good that it takes a uh, you know it takes its time to introduce the concepts to you, rather than sort of overloading you with everything all at once up front. Ooh, there's some stuff to forage down there. So that's the mine. I'm going to leave for now. There's a Oh, I mean, there's a moth there. Do I even bother trying? Oh, I could have caught that, you know. Oh, I must have been in the wrong spot, but it looked like I'd uh, highlighted it in green, which is what you need to do. No, no, I don't know why it didn't capture. Yeah, that's blocked off as well. Stinky tree. Sacred area. Okay. Ooh, there's a bug there. We'll try for that one. Scarite's beetle. I think we've already given that one to the museum. I think. What's that? That's a lizard. I think he'll run out. I don't think lizards are at least not currently catchable. Oh, I'll take a mushroom though. Oh, inventory full. What have I got? Uh, we'll dump the compost. How about that? Take a shiitake. Oh, and a wasabi as well. Um, why don't we ditch? Ooh. I'll ditch, uh, ditch the tuna. Can I kind of bang these trees? Oh, I can. What do I get? Push pineapple, shake the tree. To the left, to the right. No, okay. I kind of thought that maybe we'd get the coconut or something to fall down, but it didn't want to come, did it? Right, so I think we... I think this is the museum. But no, this is the recycling centre. I think this is the museum on the right here. can donate. Is that it? Is that literally it? Just the fly? Huh? Alright. Got a couple of flies in there now. Yay. <laughs> right. Well, I think, I, think we, uh, I think we go home now. We deposit off the stuff we found. We sell some of the stuff we found. Probably not a great deal of money, but I'm hoping tomorrow when we get the carrots is, uh, is when we might see uh, a decent amount come in. So we'll sell... That, that, that. It's not too bad, is it? The rest is resources that we'll keep. 
Now hang on to the bronze. Mm, I suppose I could leave the bronze there for now. It's going to be a little while until I've got enough to pay for a tool. It's all watered. See what's on the box. Weather tomorrow is sunny. Wow, this is the sunniest spring I've heard of. Um, spoils the land. What's, he's at? What's she at this time? Hey, back to nature with me, your host, Jenna. Oh, we've done the shrimp one. Okay, never mind. Didn't find any of those. Telenovela, duplicitation. Yeah, we've seen this one. So I'll escape out of there. Okay, well, I think we'll go to bed. We okay diving. So that's okay. So there is actually a diving skill. That's quite cool. I don't know what a vortexinator is, uh, but a scuba snack. I, th I think we can guess what that is. Um, catching. We got ground in. Okay, maybe for the harder to catch stuff, you've kind of got lures for them. That would be good. But I guess that's probably not for the moths and butterflies. Uh, put a little bit of money in. Yeah, let's have a look at those. Whoop, let's have a look at those recipes and just see kind of what what they're for. So yeah, craftable scent that lowers awareness of ground insects can be consumed or attached to a trap. Okay, I saw there was a slime trap. Will slow down enemies. Yeah, I can't see myself using that. The ball of goop is actually a, a snack. Uh, rope can be used to descend into the mine. It takes a lot of. Stone, weirdly enough. But I think maybe that is a uh, a path down. Like if you're if you're struggling to find the exit, that that's kind of an instant exit. It takes a lot of stone though. And the vortexinator creates a small vortex. Apparently, <laughs> I don't know why you'd want that unless that's for catching stuff. Maybe it doesn't take very many resources. I could make that now, and we could uh, we could try that out next time we go. Uh, Diving. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I'm holding it. Uh, yeah, no idea what that, that is, unless it's for catching stuff underwater. But anyway, I think we'll leave it there for now. So I'll just say thanks very much for uh, watching this video of uh, Coral Island. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be fantastic. Uh, leave me a comment as well. I look really look forward to your comments, you know, uh, on the games I'm playing and... Uh, your views of the series, any tips for the games I'm playing, any thoughts on, you know, if it's something you'd play, um, or if it's just something you watch, some, you enjoy watching someone else play, just let me know. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it'd be great if you could do that too. So thanks very much once again, and I hope to see you next time for more Coral Island. Bye for now.